Is the U.S. government about to ban dragons? Well, technically they're called Borneo earless monitors, but look at them. Scaly, secretive, straight out of a fantasy movie, and they're gorgeous. I mean, they're, they're considered the holy grail in the herpetology community. The U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service is about to decide if these modern-day dragons should be listed as threatened under the ESA. Sounds good, right, to save dragons? Except plot twist, it might really make things worse. If they get listed, uh, selling wild ones, banned. Get caught, get caught with them, banned. The ESA will actually make it so interstate sales could be banned as well. Even breeders in the U.S. might not be able to trade them unless they get special government permission, which honestly is harder to do than getting a parking spot in Yellowstone in July. And here's the kicker. Many rare animals, such as the Sphinx Macaw, remember if you saw the movie Rio, were saved because of private breeders and collectors. The paperwork will make it harder to trade these lizards, which actually could hurt the species. So yeah, modern-day dragons might go extinct, not from poachers, but from bureaucracy. Because nothing slays dragons faster than government forms. So protect, protect those dragons. Like, subscribe, comment. What do you think? Protect or paperwork?